Joe English here with EM All Access. We're here at EMS 2015. Today I talked with Michelle Donovan of LG about building scalable sponsorships and their sponsorship of the NCAA. Let's listen in to the interview. Welcome, it's nice to talk to you. How are you doing today? Thank you, I'm doing well, thank you. Good, great, good. great event going on here. Yeah, so we're very in San excited Francisco. To be here. Yeah, so little, you can't beat little, that. Yeah, a little away from home. Yes, yeah, a little so, bit. So uh, you've doing some interesting things with sponsorships and you've sponsored the NCAA, not one sport specifically, I understand the NCAA as a whole, right? Correct, yeah. Why, why choose that one for, for LG? Great question. Um, you know, as we started to think about building our sponsorship portfolio, we had to think about a couple of things and being sure it checked a couple of boxes. You know, with any sponsorship, we want to make sure that it aligns with some of our brand messaging, um, what we stand for as a brand and what we believe NCAA stands for as a brand matched up perfectly. Yeah. Um, geographically, you know, we wanted to make sure it had a national presence mm -hmm. um, and the flexibility to do localization, mm -hmm. um, which we felt NCAA does that. Duration, yeah. right? It was really important for us to be able to have the flexibility to activate 365 days a year if we wanted to. Uh -huh. you now, I will tell you honestly, we really focus on college basketball, college football, I call them the bookends. Yeah. Uh, but we do have the flexibility, and that was key for us. We have new product launches that happen throughout the course of the year. And they're never set schedules, um, and we have three separate business units that operate as separate companies. So to have the flexibility to activate 365 days a year was pretty pretty important to us. So you know, again, as we started to shop around for different sponsorship opportunities, the NCAA just seemed to check a lot of boxes um, that most other platforms didn't afford for us. So it's our sixth year. So we just renewed. Um, very excited. It's been a huge success for us. You know, when I first started with the company, we had about you know, a dozen retailers engaging in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to say after four and a half years, we have about 70 retailers. And that doesn't account for number of doors. That's purely just number of retailers that embrace and engage the sponsorship. So what does what does the sponsorship activation look like for you? Are you at the games? Or are you in your retailers? Where are you doing this? And what kinds of things do you do? Sure. So we do a little bit of both. Um, you know, during March Madness activity, we, had, we have a lot. We have a huge 360 campaign that goes on. So we have stuff happening in the PR space, we have different events going on throughout the United States, we have some retail activation, so we bring a lot of our footprints that we create yeah. into the retail environment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, we don't have our own brick and mortar, so we rely very heavily on building the relationships with our retailers, and the more assets and value we can bring to them, the better it is for us. Um, so that's, that's pretty key for us. Uh, we do a lot of digital social activity mm -hmm. as well. Um, you know, again, with experiential marketing, you're kind of limited to, to the reach, mm -hmm. so we had to be pretty creative on expanding that reach, and the digital social space clearly does that for us. Yeah. How do you, well, can you give us an example of how you use digital to, to expand the reach? Sure, so we just recently launched what we're calling the LG Digital Hub. Uh -huh. It's a destination place that lives on our website, yeah. um, and what we do is, is we either stream live events that people can see on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of social sharing that goes on, but everything lives with Within this destination, content destination hub on our site. Um, so that's one of the key things we just launched this year. Yeah, and these the people that are into NCAA sports are obviously big fans of their teams. Do you do some regional customization to the sponsorship to activate around different teams and things like that as well? We do. We just expanded our portfolio mm -hmm. with some local uh, universities. We have about a dozen now that we activate against. Um, we're actually starting our program for college football um, in the next couple of months. We have a, a tour that's kicking off mm -hmm. that will travel to all these different universities um, and we're working with our retailers and coming up with some really cool activation programs that ultimately help sell our product because at yeah. the end of the day that's that's, that's why we we're here. Yeah. We're trying to sell our product. Yeah. Um, but you know, really cool stuff happening for us locally um, starting with college football this year. And you, you mentioned that the, the sponsorship can really scale from local to national. Can you just sort of expand on that a little bit? What would, what would be the difference between, say, a local engagement and a national engagement for you. 
Sure. So when I look at what we did with March Madness this year, I mean that was a really robust um, activation. You know, I, and, and sadly I don't have a big budget, so I've got to take that massive footprint, that massive experience, and make it module enough to fit the environment that I'm going to take it next. Um, I can't create multiple events and have them touring throughout the United States. So what we do is we take our March Madness um, activation, which is a huge footprint, and we scale it down right after. And we have a whole tour that goes on throughout the United States. It makes different sp spots that stops at retail, um, but we scale it according to the environment that we're going to be in next. Oh, that's fantastic. That's yeah. exciting stuff. That Efficiency. You're doing. You got to be efficient. Yeah. Doing my best. <laughs> well, that's cool. All right, now, were you in a Final Four poll? Did you did you pick the winner? Did Sadly, I did not. Oh, I'm sorry. I will tell you. Mm -hmm. A year ago, yeah. I did one of those uh, the pools that automatically picks the teams for you, yeah. and I won a hundred dollars. Nice. But when I actually pick them, oh. I lose. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So we go automated moving forward. We'll keep trying. I will. And good luck, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Yeah.